Hi guys, Jay here from Belter Vlogs. Sorry I've not been with you for the first few games of the season on this YouTube channel. I've been doing commentary and uh, other stuff like that, so I've not quite got around to doing this, but I'm with you today for Belter's latest home game against Chase Town. So I hope you're all, I hope everyone's doing all right with everyone, everything's going on at the moment. So I hope everyone, yeah, hope everyone's keeping safe and well. And uh, yes, so on with the game today. Uh, we're going to have to re react to our 7 0 defeat in the FA Cup away at Buxton. Yeah, that wasn't the best performance. Uh, I think a couple, few goalkeeping mistakes as well as uh, some others as well. So we uh, need to react to that today. I'm sure we will. I'm sure we'll give 100% to get those three points because we our last league game was a 4 0 win to Market Drayton. So if we could pick up where we left off in that game, I think that would be fantastic. Chase Town, they're going to be tough opposition. They always are. They did us 1 0 last season. They've just beaten Baseball in the FA Cup as well. So that's. Uh, they're not going. They're not going to be a bad side today. They're going to make it make it really difficult for us. So we've got to be. We've got to be on our game to get three points today. But you know, if you want aspirations of, if we've got aspirations of you know being near the top of the table, then you know these are the games you've got to be taking three points from. So yeah, just uh, drop a like if you are new. Subscribe. Drop a like if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you're new. So you can tell it's been a long time. And uh, yeah, so yeah, as I say, thanks everyone for bearing with me. I know I've not been doing as much on this as I should have done, but uh, I'll be doing my best what with uh, what with COVID and everything. I might not be able to get to all the away games, but I'll be doing my best, and you know, thanks ever so much for bearing with me. So anyway, I'll see you at the ground in a social distance manner. And we're underway. And we're off. Go on, Belfort. Go on, Yeah, big chance for Chase down then, but the uh, ball was in the net, but the uh, free kick was given. Right. Oh, oh, unlucky. Oh. Quality now, mate. Oh. Oh. Well out. Like that. Hit it. Yeah, good pass. Come on, Nell. Go on, Nate. That's all right. Oh. Hey! Well defended. What a chance. And that's our time. Belper started well, but Chase Town grew into the game. So start our threats are not very good on the counter attack. While well, Belper dominated with possession and territory, Chase Town probably had the better of the, better of the chances and uh, nil nil at the break. Oh, oh you zap that one, but it's another chance. <laughs> I think we can't get playoffs this season anyway. Oh. Oh, big, big mistake from Overton there, but we got away with it. How have they not scored? How have they not scored? Go on. Go on, Ben Reid's come to you. Oh! Here he is, Cruz, coming off the bench of Elf. He's playing! Oh no, chance here. Well, what it means. Well, we can't say we didn't have it covered. Peterson coming on. Yes! Oh! He's down. Last ditch defending. How's he going to take it to the corner? Now he's going to go for it. Oh, down that is hey. hey. oh, 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 saves a penalty. Oh, oh that's that awful. That? But is it going to make something of it? Yeah. Oh, he's outside. Come on, do something. Yes. Yep. Put it in. Oh. That's going to be that it is. Belford Hill chase down one. A fair enough score. A disappointing one for Belford Hill. Yes, there we go. Full time Belford Hill chase town one. I'm sorry I didn't do the thing walking up the hill. My phone was on 1%, so I thought I'd give it a bit of charge at home before I uh, 
if I did my post-match conclusion, and yeah, it was a similar story to when we played them in February, I think, to be honest. Uh, so if you've watched my, uh, if you watch my vlog then, you can remember what I said, I'm probably going to say something similar, because it was a similar game. I thought we played well for 10, 20 minutes. I think definitely we were the better side then. Danny South, a couple of good headers. But that's, that's about it, really. I think from then on, Chase Town kind of got used to us, saw what we were doing. You know, they they were a well they're a well built side. They clearly been on the weights and stuff like that. So uh, you know they were going to match our physicality and our on our long ball style. So I think as soon as they saw that was coming, you saw every time a free kick was taken in the first half, the keeper was sprinting at Danny South. He was ready for it. What what, what was coming? So I think they sussed us out quite well in that first half, and uh, they created a couple of good chances. I think end of the first half, start of the second half, they looked really good. They had a lot of chances. We were. Very lucky to go into the last half an hour, 0-0, Peter Cruz comes on. I thought he played a little bit too narrow, if I'm being being honest. I think maybe he could have looked to spread the play a little bit. And uh, they got the goal. I've, heard, I've listened to the interviews uh, after the game before I've done this. I think uh, I think saying Chase Down did a sucker punch is a little bit hard, harsh on Chase Down. They had a lot of clear-cut chances to, uh, I think we could have been 2 or 3-0 down if you include, include the penalty as well that Leoton, he saved really nicely to give us a sniff at the end. I think we could have lost 2 or 3-0 today. But equally, maybe we could have scored one of those headers at the end. So uh, I, don't th I don't think it's a case that we dominated and were unlucky. I think Chase Town had more than their fair share of chances, certainly the better side in the second half. I think most of our chances did come uh, through the aerial route. I don't think we are creating much to open play today on, in terms of on the ground in Chase Town. Yes, sir. Uh, Maybe another head on the other the day. Those headers could have snuck in, but uh, Chase Town dealt with it well. And it's a similar thing. I think I don't mind. I don't mind our plan of you know using the area. We've got that side. That's where our strength is. I've got no problem with that. But it's having a plan B. Chase Town were clearly good at combating that. So I think maybe bring on people who's getting to stretch to play a little bit. Something like that. Something different. I thought Steve McDonald played well today. He worked really hard. But I think. We only were pressing, especially in the first one, we pressed in ones. McDonnell was going, working really hard, chasing lost corners, but he caught, lost causes in the corners, but he had no one following up on him. So he he was working hard, but he had no one coming in support. That next man was at least like five, ten yards back. So if he was in a 50-50, no one was helping him out. So, uh, you know, I thought he worked hard, but for little reward today. But anyway, you know, two defeats, two defeats on the bounce is not ideal. But it's still early days and, you know, there's still a long way to go this season. So I don't think we can get get too downhearted yet while, obviously, we're disappointed with the result and the performance today. So, yeah, thanks ever so much for watching. I hope, you've been, I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, so I'll, thanks very much. Subscribe if you're new. I say I'll try and get to as many games as I can. Might not be able to do them all because of COVID and things like that. But, uh, yeah, I'll be doing my best. And uh, I'll see you next time. And, uh, you know, all, all the nails.